First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, just wanted to do this quick video. You know, I try to I try to do it as a live stream, but um, Satan was basically messing with the uh, the feed. You know, has been doing that lately, where you try to do a video, you try to do a stream, and then instantly, the second you press live, it just disconnects, disconnects, disconnects. You know, which we all know that's just Esau and his minions, and really uh, uh, Satan. All right, but just going into the topic. All right, you know, meditating on the on the topic of uh, you know, I was thinking about it as to these elites, how you know they really want us dead. You know, they really want to kill us. They want to eliminate us. They want to just 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 wipe us off the face of the earth. You know, because in their perfect utopia, we're us. All right, of course they want to have Israelites as slaves. But us as the, the, the prophets, those with the spirit, all right, of the heavenly father in the name of the son, all right, they don't want us here, okay, because we are we are a problem, all right, we are a, a, a smoke in their nose, we are a, a wrench, all right, in their plants. So they want us out of here. But the question about that is, do they really think that, you know, speaking to you at least, do you think that if we die, prophecy is going to stop? You know, like, do you think that because you kill us, that your kingdom is not going to go down. Well, let's 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 go back in time and let's let's take a look at the uh, the ancient pagan Roman Empire. All right, and and um, keep in mind that as it tells you in the book of Daniel, chapter four, verse seventeen. Okay, that the Most High, all right, is the one who who uh, uh, ruleth in the kingdoms of men, and he giveth it to, to whomsoever he he will. All right, so regardless of whether we're alive or dead, the Most High is going to take this kingdom down. Regardless of whether we're alive or dead, America is going to be destroyed. The, the new world order is not going to work out. It's going to collapse. And Yahweh is going to make his return. Okay? So don't think that killing us is stopping prophecy. Killing us will not stop prophecy. You could grab us up. You could set up this chaos. All right? Here it is. Election Election is tomorrow. All right? Which we're going to we're gonna see what happens. You know? I was watching the... Uh, I didn't get to finish it, but I was watching... The elder brother Manasseh Zakba doing um, the um, he did a video on it as to uh, basically stay watchful, you know, and yeah, you know we're excited, all right, we're in, we're in hopes that this is you know actually going to be something that's gonna you know pop off. It's gonna it's gonna be that catalyst, you know, it's gonna push things further in the way of into into the direction of prophecy. Okay, but ultimately we understand that we gotta watch as well as as pray and we gotta see, you know, we're not we're not gonna tell you. This is 100% going to do this because we don't know. All right. The Lord could say, mm, maybe I don't want to use uh, this this specific uh, uh, election per se. I want to use something. The Lord could do that. OK, so with that in mind, you know, we're going to watch it. We're going to see how these people are reacting to it, you know, because because uh, uh, he mentioned as well in the video that a lot of these people, man, they did a lot of a lot of talk, you know, a lot of all talk. You know, not really action like that. You know, they all oh, Trump, all oh, this, that. You know, but and then at, at the end of the day, the, the average, all right, uh, civilian, <laughs> really just wants to to do their they thing. They want to go to job, uh, go to work. You know, come home. You know, that that kind of stuff. You know, they unless their life is completely ruined and they're so desperate. All right, they don't really want to go out there and do all that extra stuff, man. The average the average people don't are not into that stuff, but. You, you also have other people that are heavy into it. All right. You have uh, 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 agent provocateurs as well as heavy uh, 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 politi political supporters, you know, who are either on the side of Trump or on the side of Biden. OK, who actually, you know, take this thing very seriously. Nonetheless, with all this chaos that's coming. OK, we still know that Revelation 2 and 2 and 10 will be fulfilled. All right. They shall cast some of us into prison, not all of us, but some of us into prison. Okay, and we shall be tried. Okay, now, like Yahweh Shai said, okay, if you, if you, if we endure unto the end, or if we lose our life for the truth's sake, the Lord is going to give us a crown of life. Okay, but if they catch us and they kill some of us, is that going to slow down prophecy? Is that going to stop prophecy? No, it's not. Okay, America's still going to go down. All right, World War Three is still going to pop off. There's nothing you can do. You know why? Because things have already been set. They've been arranged. By Yahweh, by Shem Hel Shai, so there's nothing that you can you can try to do to upset that. It's gonna happen regardless. Okay. All right, Salakia. Um. But yeah, basically, 
uh, basically the Lord has already arranged these things. All right, he set them in motion and it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna slow down. It's not gonna come back. It's all gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna flow the way the Lord has set it up to flow, okay? So whether you kill us, whether you eliminate us or not, guess what? The scriptures say our works do follow us, okay? Our works do follow us. So you can come after us. You can do whatever it is that you, you, you plan to do, all right? But it's just like uh, 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 Romans 3 and 3, for what if some did not believe, okay? Shall their unbelief make, make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, all right? Just because you don't believe doesn't mean that because you don't believe something or because you think a certain kind of way. You see, that shows you how really, how stupid these elites are, man, all right? Because they think that the, they, they believe in the prophecies that pertain to them coming into power, you know? They, that pertain to, to, to them, you know, gaining the earth, Job 9, 24, those kind of things. But when it comes to the ones of you, how was I coming back? Of their destruction, all of a sudden those are null and void. They're gonna overturn that part. All right. You do realize that if you kill us, we're coming back, right? <laughs> you know, you can put us to death, but the Lord already told us that some of us are gonna be put to death. So in actuality, Esau, you're not really doing anything. You're not putting us to death. Yahweh Bashem Shai is allowing us, all right, or calling us back to the spirit world. Because had the Lord not willed it, it wouldn't happen. But the Lord said to some of us that, hey, some of us, all right are gonna are gonna have to be martyrs okay he never said that the prophecy is gonna stop if one of us die no man and guess what happens you take what you take you take one of us out when the hour shot comes back you're gonna see us again all right and that in that time you ain't you're not touching any of us you can't you can't you know what i'm saying the only reason that some of us are gonna die is because of a, a, a for martyrdom all right to, for a testimony all right of your hour shot all right, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the only reason, because it's prophecy, okay? So, you know, keeping that in mind is... People, man, are amazing, are completely amazing. I'm gonna stand right in the middle of the way, all right? But keeping that in mind, you know, we gotta understand that, hey, it, you know, it, 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 that's why we're in a win-win situation, okay? We die, we win, <laughs> you know? To, to, to die is gaining Yahweh Shai. To live is gaining Yahweh Shai, <laughs> You know, and that's the dilemma that Esau Edom is in. Now, e the walls are closing in on the world, but it's also closing in on Esau. And the thing is, as it closes in more and more and more, they realize that their options are hopeless, but they're going to be forced to go with the, the, the best one in their mind. Because if, if they don't do anything, they're going to lose. If they do something, they're going to lose. So would you rather do something and lose or do nothing and lose? All right. And that's ultimately the, 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 the position that you're in, Esau. Okay, our father, do you understand that? Like our father and our big brother have already arranged this thing, okay? We have already gotten the victory, Revelation the 15th chapter, you know? So you wonder why all your tactics that you bring are not scaring us. You're not seeing us bugging out and losing our mind. Now we might see some, some real scary stuff coming up in the, in, the, in the near future, some real draconian style laws, but is that ultimately going to be enough to make us lose our faith? Of course not. Okay? The elect will always be the elect. Regardless of what position, what they're faced with, the elect are always going to be the elect. And you're going to find out why the elect are the elect. Because you might think you're going you're gonna to put them in a situation that's going to scare the faith out of them. And then in return, they actually express more faith. You know? And you out here like, damn. You know, whatever you do, it backfires. <clears throat> Okay, whatever you do, it backfires. That's why we have precepts like Isaiah 59 and 19. You know, you're going to come in like a flood, but guess what? The Lord is going to lift up a standard against you. Okay, if you don't come in like a flood, your kingdom is still going to be destroyed. So whether we're alive or dead, prophecy is going to keep going. Okay, we don't control prophecy. We only tell you the prophecies, man. We break it down to you and we inform you as to what's coming. But we don't control prophecy. All right, lest you're gonna go kill your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is impossible, <laughs> then just get prepared for it, man. You know, just get ready to accept your fate. <clears throat> you know, and and hey, we getting ready to accept ours, man. Okay, so for us, man, the mindset we have is that look, regardless of what happens, man, it's really ultimately temporary, man. Ultimately, everything that happens here is very, very temporary. You know, whether you kill us, whether we live, whether America's gonna be destroyed, regardless, man. You know, so it's not, it's not, it's nothing for us to, you know, get, get in, in a, you know, 
in a, a concerned mindset about. Okay, this is something that that's that's supposed to happen. Okay, according to prophecy, this is supposed to happen. So, hey, so be it, man. You know, but I can't help but just just I keep getting that feeling, you know, that you know, like tonight, tomorrow, you know, it's, it, it feels like when you watch the Purge movie, and I mentioned it a couple of times when you're watching the Purge movies, and they are, uh, um, you know, a couple hours before the, the they call it the annual Purge, all right, a couple hours before that. A couple hours before that, basically people are, uh, uh, you know, boarding up their houses. All right, I saw a couple of videos on RT News, you know, uh, today, and um, you can, you know, I believe it's downtown Manhattan, amongst different locations, is all boarded up. You know, stores are boarded up. You know, people are evacuating certain cities, so on and so forth. You know, we, we're basically in that time, man. So, hey, we're gonna remain circumspect, as the scriptures say. Uh, uh, redeeming the times for the days are evil so we got to watch all around us okay because amidst all this chaos esau will come after us all right he will find a way to try and, and make it so bad that he can eliminate us in the process of it all right because we are we are we play a major role all right in the story of prophecy man okay because the, what because you have about shimmy Shai set us up that way all right now another thing i was also meditating on was concerning uh uh uh, us getting delivered us gaining salvation all right and ultimately all the the blessings that the lord is going is going to give us okay i was meditating upon these things as to how really us getting these things it's not you know it's not anything of us you know if you think about it like damn you know i hope the lord does this for me is the lord going to give me this is the lord this is the lord that understand that whatever you how about shimmy i do they do it because they want to do it you know it's not of anything we've done all right it's not of anything we've done or of, or of any of our goodness it's because you how about shai just want to do it why do you about shimmy shai got a spot okay you know it's because the lord ultimately wants to uh, uh to do it for us man when you think of it like that you you understand okay you don't get you don't get worried you don't panic because you understand that you know what it's not even about me you know what I'm saying? It's not about anything I've done. You know, Lord ain't gonna save you because you like, oh, you so righteous. As as Daniel was saying, he's not gonna save us because of our righteousness. He's gonna save us because of his mercy. You know? The Lord said, yo, I wanna save you because I wanna save you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like saving you. you ain't got nothing. What, what you do ain't gonna stop what I feel like doing. You know? Because ultimately, I'm the one doing it. This is what I wanna do. This is my movie. You know? I directed it. I have I wrote the scripts. Okay, I control everything that happens. So when you understand it like that, if you're of the elect, it's not a matter of, damn, um, you know, I, I hope I'm of the elect. You know, is this something that I could do to, no, the Lord already, it's like you see a woman, you know, you see a fine ass woman and boom, you know, they call it love at first sight, you know, where well, you like, I want her, you know, I just want her. You know, you don't want her because of what you've seen her do or what you haven't seen her do, okay? You want her because you want her. So regardless of, of, you know, what whatever else she does now, if she's a straight demon, you might want to leave her. But that feeling that all right, of affection that you have towards her is going to be because that's the feeling you have. OK, upon seeing her or whatever it is, you you have that feeling towards her. OK, it's not about what she's done. It's about what you. Hey, that's what. Matter of fact, since I'm here, I'm about to end it anyway. But let me at least pull this scripture. All right. In the book of. Uh. Okay, this is the book of Damn, scripture just left my mind. Oh, Romans, Romans, the water. Rockefeller how about Shimel Shai? Let's go to that, the book of Romans. Uh chapter, I believe it's the ninth chapter. All right, and it's uh Yep. Romans chapter 9, verse 15. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. So whatever we're going to get is not of us, okay? It's of the Most High that showeth mercy. 
The Most High said, this person right here, this spirit, I want to have mercy on them. This spirit, I don't want to have mercy on them. I don't care what they do. This is how I feel. This is what I want to do. And my word is what doesn't come back void. Not them, not how they feel, not what they think. You're giving yourself too much credit. All right. If you if you think that your actions are so important that they influence the most high, the most high already preordained what he wants to do. His thoughts are already his 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 you know prophecies has already been set in place. You're giving yourself too much credit. You know, when you think like the damn hell, but what if I, I I I you know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, we've done some messed up things in the past. You know, nobody's perfect, but that's why, all right, it's important to understand that our salvation isn't based on what we've done in the past or any of that. It's based on the Lord deciding, why do you think the elect are going to endure unto the end? Because the Lord said, I'm going to make you endure unto the end. All right, because I want you to gain that salvation. You know, I'm going to make you do it and I'm going to bless you. This is what I want. You got to understand that. That's why the Lord's name is what I am or he is. Okay, he is. It's what he wants. It's his will. Okay, and if his will is that we get delivered, then we will get delivered. Okay, and it doesn't. If the Lord, if the Lord said, "Yo, this spirit, like this spirit right here, man, this spirit, he's of the elect. I, I want him delivered." Does that mean that tomorrow the Lord gonna come around and say, "Ah, oh, damn, oh boy, look at what he just did." Uh, King David, for example, the Lord loved King David. Now King David committed adultery. Did the Lord say, I'm going to change my mind, King David is not to be elect no more, uh, uh, take away the throne from David and all that, kick all that and throw it to the curb somewhere? No. Why? Because it wasn't of necessarily what David was going to do that's going to change the way the Lord thinks about him. How the Lord feels about, felt about uh, uh, King David was how the Lord felt about him. So if the Lord said, I, wanna, I don't want King David put to death for committing adultery, that's just what he's going to do. So if the Lord said he's going to deliver us, it's because he wants to deliver us. Not because of us being so righteous, because when you think of it like that, then it's like, oh, um, so what if I stop being righteous? Then is the Lord going to change his mind? The Lord, look, if the Lord wants you, wants you delivered, that's because from the jump, the Lord himself had desire for you to be delivered. That's all it is, man. Okay, that's all it is. So now from there, let's go to, and I'm going to end it off on this. Um, um. Malachi, 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 Malachi. This is the book of Malachi. Chapter 3, verse 6. It says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right? So, once again, see, if the Lord, all right, had made his decisions based off of us then we wouldn't be here we wouldn't have mercy all right there's a reason why we're getting mercy because the lord had already said it that he wants to have mercy on us man that's why he said what i will have mercy and i will yet choose uh, uh, uh um, israel i will have mercy on jacob and yet choose israel roughly paraphrasing that's up to the lord man that's why he said he changes not there ain't nothing you're gonna do that's gonna change the lord's mind okay the lord's mind is set it's been set from day one before creation all right. So keep that in mind, man. It, like the scripture said in Romans, it's not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that show of mercy. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end it off here. Lord willing, you are edified. Okay. Hey, we're going to watch and see what happens. All right. So stay in the spirit, stay diligent, stay vigilant, and stay in the spirit. Okay. Don't get ready. Stay ready. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.